West Virginia, what used to be a town before the coal mine gave out, a naked relic now without future, without hope. Another dreary point in time for Richard Kimball, fugitive. Is there a bus through here? Not since the mine closed down. Whiskey? Beer, please. Talking to myself. Where you head? North. North? No place special or nothing? Yeah. Just north. What's the idea? You want to break up the game? <laughs> a game without a pot? <laughs> Beer. On the cuff. Come on, I'm good for it. Nothing here for strangers, boy. Better hightail it someplace else. I plan to as soon as I can get a lift. As soon as I can get a lift. How much money you got? Seems like you didn't hear me. I heard you. And how much money you got? Enough to get me where I'm going. North? North. How much does that set you back? 40, 50 bucks? You got enough money to buy me a beer? You ain't answered the man, mister. You gonna buy me a beer? Just leave it. You mind? <laughs> Do you mind?
started it. Huh? <laughs> Look, it's not very funny. It's a very hot night, and I want to know who I got to take in, that's all. Please make it easy on me. Yeah, look, I didn't start this. Tell it to the sheriff. I don't even know those fellas. Come on. this week who's he he's the guy that just uh, started it no labels you say where he's from just where he's going where north no cars a driver's license. You're gonna need something, Sheriff. You're gonna have to find the next kid. Is that his? That's his. That is his. Pictures, no letters. Well, it sure travels naked. Nothing, not a thing in a whole bag. Well, we just have to wait till he wakes up, I guess. Well, don't count on him, Sheriff. He ain't the kind of fellow to talk much. Won't have to, as long as we got his fingerprints. Well, now I'm here. Might as well draw me a beer. You lost yourself a chicken. Take South Street.
ain't nowhere back there. Sure had a burr under his tail. Just picked up for fighting. He took off like the place smelled of skunk. It does. <laughs> Tell George to run us over to Bluefield. Take off any prints and put them on the wire tonight. You got it. you be gone? A couple of days. Phil, they lost him. You might be going down there for nothing. I hope not, Captain. So do I. So do I. Worth it to bring them dogs up? You know, the worst you could have done is only find him just a couple bucks. It's important enough for him to run. It's important enough for me to find him. What time you want the truck back? Uh, a couple of hours, I'd say. That means I gotta go down and come back up again. It'll cost you another couple of bucks. Up and down is two bucks. One time or a dozen. Suppose we just make it the once. I ain't gonna just hang around out here. Unless I deputize you. And I deputize you. I'll drive on up above and take a look. If you see anything, haul tail right back and I get. Coy, put your dogs to working. I got this out of his bag.
Boy, I never seen a man so pure mean. What are you trying to do, kill me or something? You were following me. I was no such thing. I was just walking along. I've been walking this mountain my whole life. Just so happened I was walking the same way as you. You all right? Well, sure. Well, you like that? I mean, I slid down twice the size. Come on, I'll help you up. Well, you better help yourself up. From the looks of yourself, well, you're gonna need it, too. Well, that must be two miles up, at the least. Mountain does that. That, that plays tricks on you. That's the same with them dogs. They must be five miles down the valley. If I was you, I wouldn't worry none. Who said I was worried? Jesse Hobart came up to the house this morning. He said uh, some fella run out on the sheriff. Some fella that uh, he picked up for fighting last night. Oh, uh, it was a city fella. I'll race you to the top. Twice in one day, that would have been something. <laughs> Nobody want to stay this side. I'll show you the way. It's the third time they brung us right up to the water. Well, you must have crossed. Ain't no dog in the world can track a man through water. Them dogs couldn't track a bear through a flower mill. Five lousy bucks a day for nothing. Day's not over yet. Nobody home except Grams. She'd be proud to have you stay and eat. You want to go hungry? Sheriff must be kind of mad at that fella. I mean, just getting the dogs out and all. He's going to find you, too. That should get some help. I know every foot of this mountain. I could show you the way after you eat. Grams, hi, Grams. Grams, we got us company. Here's Mister. He's gonna sit and eat. It's a good sixty miles. A trip like that costs money. How much? Hundred and fifty. I'll give you a hundred. How soon can we leave? Let's go. Um...
Well, I found him. Ain't nobody gonna take him away. Child. Are you ready to give him to Coy Peter's dogs? I warn you. You scare him off, and I'll sit you down on your skinny old shanks. <laughs> get him cleaned up, uh, he's gonna be pure pretty. You won't find anything in that. No, there ain't nothing in it, so there's no harm done. You ain't gonna go, mister. You ain't gonna get far, not knowing the way. And them dogs. Only chance you got is if I help you out. I, I can do it, mister. I can get I can get you clear. You keep saying that. But I mean it. I know this mountain like I... So you know what? We could use a truck. Yeah, uh, we got this old pickup truck. It's up the logging camp right now. Ames Woodruff, he asked, could he borrow it for the day? All you gotta do is just uh, wait for the truck. You know, you just sit and eat. I got side meat. Fresh bread and gravy. Well, when will the truck be back? Well, real soon, that's for sure. Because uh, Ames Woodruff, he don't like to work past noon. Sheriff Bradley. That's right. I stopped in town. I'm counting on you to find this man. I've come a long way to get him. A lieutenant. One of them flying grasshoppers. You must want him real bad. I want him, as you put it, real bad. did see a man eat so clean. Where are you from, mister? A lot of places. Yeah, well, I was just asking for one. You said the truck could be back. Yeah, well, uh, Ames Woodruff must have stopped a jaw with Miss Keel. See, her old man's up in Clarksburg uh, looking for a job. She and Ames used to be real close till she got married. I guess maybe they still are. Well, you ain't got the sense God gave a beetle. If Ames Woodruff uh, gets one look at you, he's gonna tell it all over the mountain. Now, you you just stay outside. If she had her way, she'd keep you here. I guess you know that. I told her, fellow like you, wasn't even a chance. Make more sense, did you take her along? You mean you just pack her away with any man that's willing, no matter who or what? Matters are plenty, and lots of men willing and anxious. 
Since the mine's closed, all we got is the Del Jackson kind. None of your style. Seen how she been looking at you. You wouldn't have to be ashamed of her. She can be real handsome in a dress. Mister, I ain't got much time left. But I just know she was down off this mountain. I got something to show you. I just been deputized. Oh, they swearing in fools and jackasses now. <laughs> he just ain't got no respect for the law. Hey, but Gramps! She ain't here. She ain't here? Uh, she ain't here. Said she went out to pick us some berries. She must have just known I was coming by. <laughs> you see any weasel traps around? You've been deputized, deputy. Go. Gramps! I told you she ain't here. Well, I know she ain't here. I just want to get me some coffee. We ain't got none. We didn't make none today. That's the first thing a person does in the morning. Are you sure you ain't got some other reason? Like what? Well, like, maybe you got some company. Like that fella the sheriff's looking for? Yeah, I told you once and for all that shit. You ain't here. Baby! She don't need no help. Del Jackson, he stops by sometimes. More than Ames Woodruff, huh? Yeah, well, it ain't the same thing. No, no, it isn't the same because there is no Ames Woodruff. Because he isn't bringing your truck back because there is no truck because you're lying to me. Thanks a lot for the food. Mister, mister, uh, you can't just walk out. No, I was supposed to stay here till he comes back. Yeah, well, you can't make it alone. I know. Now, there's no question I was lying. Yet I was just trying to help. I was just trying to keep you here and, until I pull them dogs out. Thank you. Uh, mister, that mountain's pure meat. Now, there are 10,000 ways to get yourself lost. Now, you got to believe me, there are things a lot worse than getting took by them dogs. Now, I can get you to the top, and the other side's easy. And I can show you how to lose them dogs. She could. <laughs> yeah, lost him again. Dogs lost him. You expect him to track through water. But do we need the dogs? He crossed somewhere and headed up the mountain. An instinct as old as life itself. A hunted animal always runs up. I found him, Sheriff. I found him for you. Where? Mr. Gerard, police lieutenant. He's after him, too. Where is he? Up there, the Bolin's place. They're kin to me. Cabin near the old mines. Did you see him? Well, no, I didn't see him exactly. <laughs> Sheriff, he's up there, and that's for sure. And Cassie Bolin's hiding him out. How do you know? She wouldn't even let me pass the front door. If I was her, I wouldn't either. I'm telling you, Sheriff, she shooed me off with a gun. Well, look at what she did to me. She sank every inch of teeth in my hand. She'd do that today, too? 
No, that's last week. <laughs> it's worth checking out. How long will it take? Ten minutes in the Jeep. And warning him all the way, too, if he is up there. Every time that old junk pal Johnson... Any other way to get up there? Straight up the mountain. You think you can make it? I'll make it. You must want him bad. Coy! You can rest the dogs in the Jeep and bring them up in a couple of hours. Cover the back, yeah? Wait here. Jackson said there was a gun. Okay. I'll go in first. Why? Uh, because it's my job to go in first. Not that I don't respect your authority. Try to respect my intelligence, too. I respect your gumption. You got plenty of that. Messing up that fancy suit, ain't you? Maybe next time you'll wear Levi's. I'm right, Sheriff. There won't be any next time. If you're right, and I ain't saying you ain't, you better cover me when I hit that door. What in the name of the seven sins? Dell Jackson said there was a fella here, Miss Bolin. Ain't no young fella been here less than I'm blind. Where's the girl? Your granddaughter? I don't see as you got the right to ask. Miss Bolin, Dell said that... You want to ask? That's different, Sam. Cassie went out to pick us some berries. Where? Where? Anywhere there's berries to be found. Could be any place on this whole mountain. Sorry to have troubled you, Miss Bowden. That's not going to give much light. Oh, I'll give lots more than light. As long as this burns, you know the air is good. I guess that's something they don't teach you in the city, huh? They're pretty risky, these old tunnels. Timber's rotten. Ain't nobody been in them since the mines gave out. Except me. Like, I come up here all the time. One tunnel running out of another, or you get lost, you be in here a hundred years. Why don't we go through to the other side? Well, sure. That's how I'm going to get you out. Half a day lost. Oh, maybe not. She said young fella. How would she know that? Somebody washed up. It's not unknown, even here, Lieutenant. Not too long ago, either.
What's the matter? It's dry. He didn't use the towel. Now, what sort of man wouldn't use a rag like this? A man who expects a towel to be clean? A special kind of man? A doctor, maybe? Any idea which way they'd go? Well, like you said, Lieutenant, up. told you, them shorns are loose. Or you just touch them and they maybe come right down. See how easy you can get lost? Cassie, stop playing games with me. You said you'd get me to the other side. I said it, and I meant it, and I'm going to. I, I just want to ask you something first. All right. A man can get tired running alone. You want to go along? I wouldn't be no worry to you. Like, I wouldn't hold you back none. Cassie, you're holding me back now. If you don't quit, you might as well just hand me over to the sheriff. Oh, you're still sweating about him? Sheriff ain't gonna find you here. So you, you believe me, don't you? Is there any reason why I should? Well, sure. Don't nobody know this old cave set me. I come up here sometimes just to sit. You know uh, what I call it? I bet you wouldn't guess in 10 hundred years. The dreaming room. Now I bet you, you think that's pure foolish, a grown girl dreaming. I guess it depends on what she dreams about. Well, lots of things. But mostly getting down off this mountain. One of them tunnels goes clear through. You come out on the other side, and you can see the road, white and narrow like a, a fresh washed ribbon, twisting and turning all the way down. And kind of hurrying straight across the valley like it just plain can't wait to get to the city. If you could know how often I took that road. Just uh, dreaming, I mean. Doesn't have to be a dream, Cassie. Well, that's what Graham says. She ran away to Nashville once, stayed two years, came back just before my pa was born. Takes a lot of gumption to go down there alone. I wouldn't know uh, which foot to sit in front of the other. Unless somebody took me along and showed me. Can't see you. be in your way, and there, there wouldn't be nothing I wouldn't do. I'm sorry, Cassie. Oh, I can't hardly blame you, a fellow like you and something like me. Something you could have picked off a berry bush 
walking down the city street, folks looking and whispering, and maybe laughing behind their hands. Anywhere, any city in the world, I'd walk with you. I'd be proud to. But I can't. You know I can't, you know I'm running. Just for fighting? I mean, that ain't nothing. You can go back and sit in jail for a couple of days, and that pays him back, and then you, you can't stop running. There's something more. Yeah, a lot more. You did something bad. I say I did. I say I killed somebody. You didn't. No, but I can't prove that I didn't. It wouldn't be much of a life for you, would it? Always on the go. Always looking back. You never know who'd step out of a doorway, sit beside you on a bus or in a restaurant. I don't care. I do. Yeah, well, it uh, seemed like a kind of good idea. Cassie, listen to me. But don't say anything, just listen to me. You can get down off of this mountain. You don't need me. You don't need anybody. All you need is something to get you started, and you've got that. You want to go. It's, it's just all in yourself. The wanting to go, that's all you need. You understand? So, just pick up that ribbon and follow it down. I promise. I guess you better show me that tunnel. It's down this way. Jesse, fire up that lantern. Not even a decent light. Well, lucky the old woman even gave us this. Well, this, here's the one. Goes all the way through. Dozen tunnels branching off the mainland, smaller tunnels branching off of them. You run. I'll hold him back. Go on. Uh, uh, share his skin to me. He won't do me no harm. Go on. You tell me. The fellow got away from me last night. That's him. Where is he? Where is he? You think I found me something like this? I let him get away? There ain't no use fooling with her. We got him cooped up here. He can't get out on this side. What about the other side? 
There's not but one tunnel. I'll phone Barlow Spranks and have him close it off. I better see if Jackson's come up with a jeep. Run, Mr. Enough air coming in. It's a question of digging out is all I'd say. Six or seven hours. And if the others find us? Maybe two or three. He could be halfway across the next take by then. It ain't a bad place. You get used to it. That kind of a nice room for dreaming. Ken and Wheeling, the Iversons. You find you need some help. I don't need no help. Not them, not nobody. You just remember that. You don't need nobody. the mountain, leaving it far below and behind him. Lieutenant Philip Gerard returns home without the man he had come to find and recapture. The other side of the mountain, of many mountains, a road twisting and turning into the future, without promise, without assurance for the man who must always go alone. Richard Kimball, fugitive.